Hello, I made this video for people who use Generate Press Theme. Now the video is about Generate Blocks, which you also use if you use the Generate Press Theme. There was a, a recent update that added new Flexbox controls to Generate Blocks and they've confused a lot of people. So this video is about using Flexbox settings for your generate press themes and it's for newbies and non-techies this is not for coders coders will have a good idea how all this works already so i've got a, a brand new page and it's set to full width i'm going to start by adding a container so either forward slash or use the add button to add a container now i've added a container and one of the things that's changed is you no longer automatically get an inner container when you add a container. And I want an inner container this time, so I'm going to click the inner container button. You don't have to have an inner container. Before you had to have an inner container, now it's a choice. But because this is going to span the full row, I do need an inner container. So now I've got an outer container and an inner container. And inside the inner container, I'm going to place a grid block. So click the plus button, select the container I want to place it inside, click the plus button, and I want to use the grid block, which is here, or you can just search for it. So if I search for grid on the grid block, now I'm going to choose a single column, I'll click it again, and I've got a grid. And if I expand the grid, I've got one container in the grid. I'm going to paste some content in there. I've got some content that I want to copy and paste into that container or column. So I'm going to copy the blocks. I'm going to paste them in here. So I want to have a, a paragraph. I'll set a paragraph, then I can paste things in. So I'm going to paste those blocks in. Now I want to set the, this container to 30%. So I can either use the block settings or I can scroll down and there's got sizing here. See, so it's width 100% in the sizing tab. So I've got that 33 there. 33% so it's in the block settings 33% and it's in the sizing tab 33% width so that container now is 33% width I want to add some padding so making sure we're still selecting the right container padding and I'm going to add 30 pixels I'm going to add some background color just so we can see what's going off. So I've got colors, background. Now we can see what's going off. Now I'm going to duplicate this, but before I do it, what we need to do before when you made a grid, all of the columns were full height. They're not full height anymore. So what you need to do, select the container, and go to sizing. We've got a lot of tabs here. I'll close some of the tabs that'd be easier to see. I want the sizing tab. I want a height of 100%. So if you type 100 and then if you type the percent button and it'll change to percent. You can choose percent from here if you want to. But if you just type 100, then type a percent, it'll make it 100%. That's important for the next step because it makes all of the columns that are in a row the same height. So next I want to duplicate that. So I'm going to duplicate the grid item. I'm going to make two rows. So we've got some underneath. Now I'm going to go back to the grid. I'm going to add some horizontal and vertical gap and now we've got a grid. I'll just put a bit of 
uh, margin at the top and bottom of that whole container so we need the spacing margin top and bottom I'm going to have 100 at the top 70 at the bottom we update that and see what we've got so view the page and now we've got a nice little grid this is fairly much how it was before so I'm going to edit the page before I forget I'll just mention about aligning all of the columns so expand see where we are so if we click the wrapper of the grid is inside your wrapper so if you go to the immediate parent of the grid that wrapper that container if you align this text align here it will affect all of the columns in that grid it's left aligned by default I just wanted to add that before I forget now so far up to this point the most important thing is that the individual columns you now have to make the each individual column it has to be a hundred percent if you want them to all be the same height so that's sizing 100 percent and you've got to do that for every column each column's got to be a hundred percent now the fun begins what i'm going to do i'm going to take some of the content out of this So what we've got now are some columns have got more content than the others and I'll change a bit more right now a selection of content but what I want to do I want these buttons to all align at the bottom and I want these text boxes and the image and text to all space out to look a bit better now to do that we need the new flexbox settings so I need to select the container that I want to deal with make sure I'm selecting the container not one of the blocks inside it so that's that's this container I've selected and now I need to choose layout display flex and if you see this has gone funny and we've got some new buttons so I want that to be a column and then I can choose things like space between and space between will put space in between all of these blocks it spaces it out to look neat and it puts the button at the bottom now if I don't want to do that make sure I'm selecting the container again not wrong container So it's in the container if I don't want to use this space between what I can also do to push this bot button to the bottom I can use margin auto now margin auto is really useful so what we want to do we need to go down to margin I've selected the button margin if I select right auto it pushes away from the right if I select left auto it pushes away from the left and if I choose right and left auto it pushes away from the left and the right so it's in the middle what we can also do is margin top so if I choose margin top auto it will push away from the block above it so it's pushed it to the bottom and you can apply margin auto to more than one block so supposing I want this block to be spaced out as well I can put margin top auto and that will put space between this block and the one above it but that block is still at the top it, there's no, no margin there you know I've only added margin auto to this one and this one or if you wanted to you could actually type in a size but I'm using margin auto If we look at the other containers look at the settings at the top we've got layout now this container is set to layout flex column but this container 
is set to layout default. So if we want to use the Flexbox settings, we need to choose the container. Make sure we're choosing the container, not the, a block inside it. So that's so I've selected the container. I need to choose layout, display, flex. Make sure that you choose column. You want column, not row. And then you can use the flex box settings, which is space between or whatever. So you can align things to the bottom, the top, the middle, do all kinds of stuff. Now, another important point is with the buttons, buttons previously were wrapped in a button block. See, there's two buttons there and one button here. We've, we've currently got one button. Now, if you want to add more buttons, select your button, click the add button container. Once you've added a button container, you can click this icon that adds more buttons. First of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure I'm selecting the button, not the container. I've selected the button. I want to add a margin. So if you, once your button's selected, scroll down to spacing, choose margin, and I want a margin right of 10 pixels and imagine bottom I'll have 20 pixels so now when I add more buttons they've got space between them I'm going to add several buttons but can you see what's happening it's breaking out of the box so what we need to do we need to choose the button container and we need to set it to wrap because wrap is no longer a default setting. At one time it would just automatically wrap, but it doesn't now. So we need to choose the button container and then choose wrap and the buttons will now wrap. So if your buttons are breaking out of the box, have a look and see if you've chosen the wrap option. And that's in the layout display wrap. Now, another option that might confuse you, if I select a headline, I'll just shorten the headline to make it easier to see what we're doing. When you add an icon to the headline, the settings have changed. So if I select the headline, now if you look here, it says layout display default. So at the moment, this headline is using the default settings. But if I scroll down to icon, and I add an icon. So I've now added an icon to that headline. But if you scroll back up to the layout settings, see now it says layout display flex. So when I added the icon, it changed it from default display to flex. So layout display is now flex. And what we can do now, we can use the flex options. So if I, this is called reverse, you've got row, column and reverse. So I click reverse and it's reversed the headline. If you do that, you'll need to add some padding between the headline and the icon. So I'll add some padding. So I'll go down to icon. You don't want spacing, you want icon. So then in the icon settings, and you see it's got right padding of 0.5, but I want some left padding of 0.5 because I've reversed the headline. So 0.5, and it adds that little bit of padding there. So I'll go back up to the settings. Oh, I'll add some top and bottom padding as well. Because I'm going to show you some other stuff. We just remember to make padding between the icon and the headline use the icon padding not the ordinary padding you need the icon padding which is in the icon tab here i'll go back up to the flexbox settings so instead of being a, a row a row this is a row but i can make it into a column and then we can use the reverse button to put it above or below you can also use the align, so I can align it left, right, or center. So it gives you quite a lot of options. Now, I'll just have a quick recap. For most people 
who are just ordinary website owners and you don't you're not a web designer you don't need to do all the because these flexbox settings are very powerful once you know what you're doing if you can write flexbox flexbox is uh, CSS code. If you can already write CSS, you can already write Flexbox, these settings are really powerful. But for your average user, what we've done so far will do most of the stuff. It'll take you back to where you were before the Flexbox update. You can do all the stuff you could do before the Flexbox update. Let's have a quick recap of what we've done. We selected a container, so that's the container, and we set the container to We've set it to layout display flex and we set the height to 100%. If you want to use the flexbox settings, such as the spacing settings, you'll need to set the height to 100% inside the grid. We're still using the ordinary grid tool, so keep using the grid tool. Also notice the first container has more content than the second. So the second container has an empty space where you can move things up and down. So once you've set the height to 100% and you've set the layout display to flex, you get these options where you can add things like the margin auto which spaces out the blocks. Then you can have margin auto top, right, bottom and left. If you want an easy way to make your columns look nice and neat, select the column first that, you, that you've set to display flex and then choose space between or you can have space around, or you can space things in the middle. You can do all sorts of stuff. If it looks funny, you've chosen row instead of column, so just check that. To space the buttons, the margin, setting spacing margin, and set left and right to auto. You can have either left, right, or left and right. And if you've got a button block where there are several buttons and it's breaking out of the box, make sure that that button container is set to wrap. Because if it's no wrap, your buttons will break out of the box. That's it for this video. I hope you can see that learning these few extra settings will give you a lot more power over your website. Thanks for watching and bye for now.